This is the number one weapon to be using on shipment, the mini back. Ever since shipment came out, I've been absolutely in love with this thing. This thing is so good because you have a ton of mobility and by default, it comes with 64 rounds like you never need to reload. Ladies and gents, this is the base weapon with no attachments. You guys will see the ADS is a little bit slow, but it's not like that bad. Sprint speed is pretty good. And then the sprint to fire speed is a little bit slow. And then the recoil control, very, very easy to control the weapon. We got some pretty clean, you know, those bison, bison items iron sights since the mobility wasn't the best on the weapon like specifically the ads speed we are going to be going over to the stock and we're going to add the mark Keeve. previously i was running the ultra zat stock and then also i would sometimes run the stockless but i noticed a lot of people running the mark Keeve stock and i don't really know why like it seems like the benefits are better on the on this stock rather than this stock but then i tried it out and something about this stock just makes the weapon so good you guys gotta try it Dude, I'm trying to tune this. What is this? Like, dude, it's actually impossible to tune in this game. Like, what is this? Dude, stop. Don't move. Stay there. Okay, now I can figure it out. For the tuning, because the ADS speed is very important, the aim walking steadiness isn't that important. We try to get to negative 2.63 because this isn't based on a linear scale, and so you get the most amount of ADS in this uh, range. And then for the bottom bar, we're going to increase the strafe speed, which is pretty much when you move in the gunfire. If you're ADS, this is called strafing. You always want to strafe in your gunfight because it gives you rotational aim assist, and you will be a harder target to hit. So make sure you guys are always doing that. If you tune it like that, it'll give you more of that. For the next attachment, I added the true tag grip just because we we're going to increase the mobility even more. And that was like one of the cons of the gun is that the mobility is not that good. And so this is going to heavily increase that. We are going to be losing recoil control and we do lose recoil control with this uh, stock as well. But honestly, there is literally zero recoil in the class. Trust me. For the tuning, you just want to increase the ADS speed just because there literally is like no recoil in the weapon. And this is just your horizontal recoil control. And so that is usually important. But in this case, the ADS speed is more important. And then obviously you want to max out that sprint to fire speed. For the tuning, I recommend you guys to increase the ADS speed just because because on this final build of the setup, there is literally like zero recoil on the weapon, so we don't need any horizontal recoil control. For the bottom bar, you just want to increase the sprint to fire speed because across the board in this game, all the weapons have a very slow sprint to fire speed, so this is a very crucial aspect of the weapon. For the next attachment, so I know I usually say not to run a suppressor, but trust me, run the suppressor on the mini back, it makes it feel amazing. The sound suppression honestly doesn't really matter. Like, if you compare the audio of your gun firing without a suppressor and with a suppressor, it's like very similar. The thing that I'm really liking is the increase to the bow velocity and the damage range. It's pretty much going to like build in a barrel to the weapon and one of the biggest cons with this gun is that the damage range isn't really there. Another great muzzle is going to be the Bruin, um, like the Pendulum Bruin. Bruin Pendulum, this is my previous favorite one. This one is actually so good and so this one's pretty much equally as good when you are playing on shipping. If you're not playing on shipping, honestly, I recommend to run the X10 muzzle and then for the tuning, you just want to increase the ADS speed, making the weapon a little bit snappier. Recoil smoothness really doesn't do anything for your gun you can literally test it and like compare all the graphs it doesn't do anything at all for the bottom bar because the bow velocity is so important in the game this pretty much is the speed that the bolt leaves your gun and hits the enemies and so you need to max that out so now when we go into the firing range you guys will see this weapon has a little bit of a snappier ads it still is a kind of slow but honestly that is not going to hinder you at all but then the overall mobility still feeling pretty good and then the recoil control this weapon is an absolute beam there's a little bit of vertical but when you guys go into a game you guys will see it is super super easy to use for the next attachment this one is going to be pretty personal preference so for me i'm going to be running this but if you don't run this i would just not run a fifth attachment i would literally just run four attachments or you can add this one magazine that reduces the recoil and i'll show you guys the tuning for that or you can add an optic and i'll show you the tuning for that so the attachment that we are going to be adding is going to be the fss ole laser this is going to severely increase the mobility and it adds a lot of aiming stability completely removing the sway that the weapon has when we take a look at the ads you guys will see it's a little bit quicker you can't really notice it but it is a little bit quicker sprint to fire speed is a little bit quicker and then if we take a look at the idle stability, this thing barely sways at all, giving you very predictable recoil. If you have a lot of sway on your weapon, that is going to give you unpredictable recoil because it does sway in your gunfight. What you guys can also run is an optic. The optic I recommend you guys to run is going to be the Chrono Mini Pro. And then you want to tune it for the flinch resistance, making it a little bit easier to stay on target if the enemies are shooting at you. For the bottom bar, this is personal preference. I would keep it at zero or I would max it out. You don't really need to do like the close one. This pretty much just zooms the side away from your guy, which is actually going to give you less 
less visual recoil. So that is one benefit of running a sight on the gun. You have less visual recoil just because the FOV is higher. And so you actually can like see more. What you guys can also do is take off the optic and then you can go over to the magazine and add the mini back grip mag. This is going to add a lot of recoil control, but it is going to hurt the ADS speed. And so I don't like to run it, which you actually can't do in that. And so now let's go into the firing range just to test out the recoil control. You guys will see ADS is a little bit slower, but the recoil very, very easy to control. There was almost like zero uh, horizontal recoil on the weapon. With all that said, though, I'm going to be running the laser. And then the last attachment that I recommend you guys to add to the weapon, you want to go over to the ammo and you want to add the armor piercing. This is going to give you a little bit of a boost to your weapon and it's going to add FMJ, which means you can shoot the enemies through cover a lot easier. And so if you're on shipping and the enemy's on the other side of a crate, you can shoot through the crate and it should kill the enemy in like one to three bullets less, which is amazing. For the tuning on here, you just want to obviously max out the damage range. This is how you get the damage range increases. This is also going to increase the ball velocity, making the weapon feel a lot better. So here is the final build of the weapon. We got a pretty good ADS and then there is like actually like no recoil on the weapon. We got a pretty good damage range and just overall, this weapon is amazing. Trust me, you got to use it. With all that said, here is an overview of the class and today's gameplay. I think I got two different gameplays on there. It's actually amazing. We got a double nuke in TDM. Yeah, in TDM and then we got a great like 150 kill game in like regular hardpoint. And so I waste a lot of time kind of. So once I get my own place, then I can probably make a TikTok a day or like at least two to three TikToks a week. Okay, let's see this, boys. Boom, boom, boom. We got a man over here and a man over there. He's sliding. It's okay, though. We're better. Oh, my God. We got the Northern Lights down there with the snipers. Dude, he thinks he's good. He's running around the map. I'm here again. See best to watch you get nukes and remind you that Messi and Argentina won the World Cup. Thomas, that was the best reminder I've ever had in my entire life. I'm so wholesome. So happy. I still... Go to bed happy because of that. I still need to buy a jersey. I'm just seeing if they go down in price because you're not even gonna get them until until um mid April. So I'm like, okay, there's no point to really buy one right now, dude. I can't believe that man actually killed me. I need to assert my dominance, assert my ego onto this man. I'm here. Wait, um, let's try to break 200 likes on the stream, guys. Come on, yo, I appreciate when you guys try to get like likes on the stream. It's like very wholesome, knowing that you guys care enough. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. Jason, if I don't get the gameplay within the next two games, I'm going to go try to do the M16 with no aim assist challenge. But I'm going to be... Uh, I'll use the M16 and go for that challenge. Jason challenged me to get a nuke with... Uh, I mean, yeah, get a nuke with no aim assist on the M16. So, we're going to be trying that. I'm just trying to make a YouTube video with this weapon. I want the gameplay to be good. Like, like you know, it can't just be a nuke. It's got to be... 150 kills, double nuke. Perfect. Is this face Seabass? No, 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 no. 100% no. I am the real Seabass. Dude, chat, I gotta make a viral TikTok saying that I'm not face Seabass, but it's like so niche, so it won't really go viral. go. Dude, we're just getting crazy spawn traps right now. Jesus. They are spawning so deep inside me. I feel like I'm playing something else. Yeah, my accuracy is kind of chalked uh, lately. My mom bought me a messy shirt for me on Christmas, so I got very happy. That's awesome, Tom. Oh, Thomas, are you the one that got the one with the uh, two stars, right? Like the OG uniform? OG jersey? Which honestly... I might buy one of those off like a third-party website, like off eBay or something. Oh, MGB, let's go. Let's freaking go, boys. Leave a like for that. Easy freaking nukes. And if you are new, you know, a subscription is appreciated. I get nukes every day, every game, all day. Loki want the OG two-star one, but I feel like then I'm like too much of a bandwagoner. Even though I'm buying the three-star one. I used to have, um... Like the junior jersey. What gameplay are you going with for the bison? Just the, like a double nuke or, um, like 150 kills. This isn't bad, but I feel like I've been dying a lot. Oh my gosh, whoa, we got a whole group of people. 
Dude, Thomas, I'm so jealous that you have the two-star one because I don't even think you can buy those anymore. I'm so jealous right now. Smash the nuke. I'll smash it in a second. Gotta smash it right in their faces. Gotta break their backs with my nuke. What controller do I have? I got a um, Xbox Elite V2. And yo, Ace, I just realized I never said hi to you. What's up, dude? I hope you're doing well. I hope you've had a good New Year so far. Yeah, I feel like my accuracy, you know, is just gone. Oh, if I hit that guy in the face with that, that would have been funny. Those drill chargers, I've had so much fun with them. I hope they're in every Call of Duty. Actually, not in every Call of Duty. They are kind of annoying, but they're also, like, really fun. So, PC with Xbox uh, with Xbox controller crossplay activated. Uh, yes, sir. I just keep everything default. I just loaded the game up on my PlayStation, and then I uh, just kept everything the same. I didn't go into the internal settings and mess with crossplay and stuff. Boom. We got a lot of people pushing up. This might actually be 150 kills. Dude, I want a freaking dolphin dive. No, no, I want a dolphin dive past him. That would have looked so cool because they're spawning behind me. That would have just been so clean and perfect. Anyways, we still can get another nuke, but dang it. Dude, this new mic arm I got is actually so sick. Turning off aim assist, then turning back on is going to feel like aimbot. Dude, actually, Reese, yeah, that's going to make my accuracy way better. Because that's like the way to practice your aim is just turn off aim assist and play against bots or just go into regular lobbies. Dude, this gun actually fries. It's insane. Like, it actually fries. I think this is my most used weapon in the entire game. Oh my god, that man just got dropped. Might actually be able to get the nuke right now. He's got a couple seconds. Let's pop a battle rage. Yeah, I got enough ammo. I'm chilling. And then this is going to allow us to play a little bit more aggressive. Come on, give me this nuke. Oh, Juggernaut, let's go, boys. The double nuke. Oh, my God. Okay, this is going to be in the video. Oh, shit, I got to call on this nuke. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Let's go, boys. We got a nice little easy double nuke. We pretty much got a triple. Like, we were so close to a triple. If you type anything in here, you will be in tomorrow's video or the day after tomorrow. Let's freaking go, boys. Oh, my God. Easy freaking nukes. Then freaking mini back. Dude, this gun, by far my favorite gun in the game at the moment. I like the M4, Bond. Ship it. This thing's nasty. Let's go. Let's go. 137 and 8. Let's go. Who's this? Sam joined, boys. Sam. What are you doing? Sam was the one that joined last time. What's up, Sam? What is this? Dude. Oh, he's teabagging. I feel like this is someone who joined, maybe. Uh, why no Ryo Shield? I should honestly put it on, but I like the bomb squad because people throw so many nades. But honestly, I just need to use my trophies more and we're chilling. I I'm so happy his accuracy was horrible. Like, just the gun itself isn't that good. Is there a man with a shotgun right here? Advanced UAV, now we know where these losers are. This chat, whenever I'm dying off these nukes, it's literally because I just died from behind or I don't know where the enemies are. Or just a random shotgun gets me.
Ah! I just want this nuke and then I'll reach out. Okay, we're on the brutal. Yo, I love the advanced UAV. It makes everything so easy. There's the juggernaut. There we freaking go, boys. 19 years later. What the hell? Okay, we gotta we gotta get a double in here. A double TDM. I don't think anyone's seen that before. A double TDM right now, boys. I gotta focus. Double TDM nuke coming up. Oh, if Sam gets a nuke in here too, that would be perfect. Sam, you got this, dude. You got this. Match my nuke. Oh, that was sexy. I think we can get this double. Dude, where are they spawning? Where are they spawning? Oh, I see a man behind me. No. I just knew I didn't have enough time to like turn on him. Oh my God. Oh my God. 45. We just need 15 more. Oh my god, it's like it's meant to be. There's so many times where we should die and we don't die. I was trying to throw a um, little drill charge. Oh, I got the 60. Let's go, boys. We got a double. A double in TDM. Oh, let's freaking go, boys. Oh, my God. That was so close. Jesus. If you are new, a uh, like on the stream is appreciated. And a sub is a must. Let's freaking go. Like young, I bought a yard today, a hundred penny, all your life birds.